Greetings everyone. My name is Temila Sechelo. Angola is home to rich biodiversity resources, but in recent years it has encountered major biodiversity threats driven or caused by human interference with the natural habitats due to factors such as poverty and population growth. With population growing and poverty worsening, people tend to take advantage of the natural resources for their survival, which leads to biodiversity crisis and some of the species get to extinct. And also poor management or inefficient law enforcement exposes biodiversity, which may lead to biodiversity destruction. The aim of this research is to find out how much biodiversity does Angola conserve in their protected areas against the number of species getting listed as critical endangered. The first map I will be looking at is the Angolan land use map, briefly showing the different land uses taking place in Angola. Also touching on how much land use is conserved or how much space does a particular land use take. The planning units of Angola is created using hexagon shapes. The planning units are composed using the Angolan country layer which acts as a boundary. This map is used to identify each planning unit and also to check whether or not a particular area is locked or not regarding the conservation of the endangered species found in Angola. The Angolan tenure map planning unit is an overlay map showing two variables, the polygon which represents conservation of protected areas found in Angola and the green lines showing the deserved roads, urban areas and other human managed areas which clearly reveals the domination of human or man-made structures which is one of the major concerns regarding the conservation or protection of the species found in Angola leading to some of them getting endangered or vulnerable to extinction. The following map shows a, shows a number of protected areas found in Angola indicated using polygons. It shows 12 protected areas, namely Quintama National Park, Kandagala National Park, Luando National Park, Kamiya National Park, Chimalavara National Park, Buffalo Pasha Reserve, Nami Pasha Reserve, Bayochula National Park, Muna Pasha Reserve, Mavinga Pasha Reserve, Ayona National Park, Luana National Park, which are used to protect these Angolan endangered and endemic, and endemic species from getting extinct. The map you are looking at shows current protected areas found in Angola in some solution, which shows about six protected areas out of the 12 Angolan protected areas. This map is created using GI software to see the total area of the current protected areas in Angola and also how much is protected for existing and newly added reserves regarding the endangered and endemic species found in Angola. It only has about 16 unprotected species which I'm doing under the current parameters according to the module results ran on the GI software. The map you are looking at is similar to the previous one showing the current protected areas regarding the Angolan endangered and endemic species. It also has been created using the GIS software. The only differences found in it is that it's put in a best solution form. This map is also created using the GIS software in conjunction with the Angolan hexagon planning units to determine how much could be protected if there could be an additional of new protected areas to accommodate the endemic and the endangered species found in Angola and also to see whether those areas are suitable for the creation of these new areas because they may be created on top of existing infrastructure. This map is in a sum solution form and consists of about 19 protected areas with only 11 unprotected species under the current parameters according to the module results ran on the GIS, GIS software. Similar to the previous map, this map shows the best possible locations in Angola for the creation of new protected areas and also the certain places for the creation of these protected areas. This map is in a best solution form which is made up of about 11 new protected areas which could be created to facilitate for the endemic and indigenous species found in Angola. The following animals are some of the critical endangered mammals found in Angola.
are some of the best species that are treated are critically endangered and endemic to Angola. The species you are looking at are some of the reptile species that are critically endangered in Angola. According to the findings of the project, none of the current project areas were able to meet any of the targets required and also revealing about 16 of the species that are not protected under the current parameters. With the newly treated, treated protected areas, similar to the current protected areas, it was also not able to meet all of the targets required, with a total number of 11 unprotected areas under the current parameters.